As the long wait for the Durham report continues, the Director of National Intelligence, John Ratcliffe, declassifying documents revealing former CIA Director John Brennan briefed then-President Obama on a purported Hillary Clinton plan to tie candidate Trump to Russia in 2016 and distract from her private email scandal. Senior political correspondent Mike Emanuel gives us the story tonight. Martha, good evening. These are handwritten notes from former CIA Director John Brennan, written according to a source familiar after Brennan briefed President Obama. At one point, Brennan writes, quote, approved by Hillary Clinton, a proposal from one of her foreign policy advisors to vilify Donald Trump by stirring up a scandal claiming interference by the Russian Security Service. The notes say on 28 of July, in the margin, Brennan writes POTUS, but that section of the notes is redacted. Then it says, any evidence of collaboration between Trump campaign and Russia. The remainder of the Brennan notes are redacted, except in the margins where it says J.C., Dennis, and Susan. That could be referring to former FBI Director James Comey, former Obama Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough, and former National Security Advisor Susan Rice. The CIA sent a memo to former FBI Director Comey and Peter Strzok writing, quote, the following information is provided for the exclusive use of your bureau for background investigative action or lead purposes as appropriate. One example the CIA includes, quote, an exchange redacted discussing U.S. presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's approval of a plan concerning U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump and Russian hackers hampering U.S. elections as a mean of distract distracting the public from her use of a private email server. At a hearing before the Senate Judiciary Committee last week, Comey was pressed on what he did with information provided by the CIA. You've got a letter now from Radcliffe saying that there was a, they intercepted information about an effort in July where Hillary Clinton approved a camp, uh, an effort to link Trump to Russia, the mob. Did you have an investigation to look and see if whether that was true? I can't answer that. I've read Mr. Radcliffe's letter, which frankly I have trouble understanding. Hillary Clinton spokesman Nick Merrill says the mention of her name in recent days is, quote, baseless BS.